Hey everybody, how you doing? Marion the Barbarian here. It's been a little while since, it's been a few days since I've done a shave video here on the channel, that is. And uh, we're going to use Havana. We're not featuring the soap, but I'm going to put up the base ingredients because Moon Soaps has a couple of different bases. Havana is an awesome scent. I did bloom it a little. Um, this puck is at least four years old. Puck. This tub is at least four years old, but this is their premium tallow soap formula, Havana. Scent notes will go up now. And we're gonna use the Teton Shades. I'm just gonna shake the shit out of it. Dip the tips just a little, and then we're gonna load. Uh, we're gonna load this puppy up. This is all about the Yaki Harlequin. Someone recommended the Yaki Harlequin. The reason I actually chose to use Havana is I have a new subscriber that was like, oh dude, Havana's the best moon soaps. And you know what? I cannot lie. Um, it's really good. Um, it's one of those people say the scent strength's not strong, but it does project well. Like, it's not like banging in your face, but but it projects well. Oh, how did I lose a hair in there? That, that Teton Shapes never sheds. I might have been a little too rough. There we go. Give it a little rinsey. We're back. All right, guys. It is about the Yaki Harlequin. Someone did ask about it. Um, again, we're drinking Irish Red from Tailgate Brewery. I'm going to mention it again. I hope to get a flyer done up, and I'll post it on Instagram, post it on Facebook. I will post it on my community tab, address, time, place. May 18th, we will be meeting up, Tailgate Brewery. Anybody wants to come out, meet up, let's do it, man. Let's do it. <sighs> Pinky's up. It's a good red. Um, Kind of like with Bohemian Black Lager, Lager it's, it's got a good body, but when you finish, it's still kind of crisp. Which is enjoyable for me. Okay. This is where I'm going to take the time to build the lather. And I'm going to speed it up. Because I do like that for the video. It shortens it. Good enough. Do you agree? Good enough? I'm happy with it. Clean up the neckline so it looks pretty for YouTube. Hmm. All right. So we put the Willy Blade in the Harlequin from Yaki. I will tell you, you do need to keep the washers on it if you want this to line up perfectly so it's like square and it will kill me if that didn't so washers left on <laughs> but we're going to check out the willies blade someone asked about it i don't have a good will razor to compare it to but i don't feel like the grooves cut in the top are as deep as the good wills are just from pictures i've seen if y'all can tell now, these posts are on the base plate, so when you pull this off, there are holes in the top cap. That's what makes it like the TRC Razor. It has blade feel. It's just not bad. Open comb's not menacing. You notice the slower strokes with this one.
It's nice. Um, I should have talked about it more. AliExpress had a sale up until like 1 o'clock this morning central time of the 28th of March for people not watching it like the day I release it. Yeah, there we go. The, uh... Sorry, I lost a little bit of train of thought. Oh, Yaki was having a sale. Well, AliExpress was. I don't know how much it made this razor, but the uh, Bohemia razor, which is a dupe or a clone of the Bohem razor made in France, vintage razor. It's $92, but during that sale, I could have gotten it as cheap as 68 but it didn't have the money, people, so we didn't buy it, and I will not buy it until it hits that 68 price again. So it's where we are. When I see that that product gets to $68 and you still feel comfortable selling it for that, that's the price I'm buying it for. I mean, that's what's ridiculous. Like, you were able to go from 92 to 68 on a razor and still feel profitable. That's why I say they're overpriced lately at Yaki. And if Yaki's watching my videos, like Yaki's never hit me up, never asked me to use their products. Now they probably never will. But we all know labor costs are less expensive in China than here. And you're charging premium prices for razors that don't have premium finishes. There are slight issues from the ones, at least this one. Not the head, but the razor handle. Um, you know, it is what it is, people. I don't like buying clones of razors that are made here in the U.S. from Yaki. It's not my thing. Um, maybe if Yaki makes it in pot metal, and I know that artist... Or zinc alloy, zamac, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the artisan doesn't make it in that material. Maybe that's okay. We did nick right here, evidently. I will admit I have to be on my game with this razor. It's not, it's not aggressive because it's an open comb. That's definitely the truth. Yes, I haven't gotten stuff for the uh, drain yet. Ooh, nicked ourselves here. But this has nicked every single shave lately. And it's... Is it nicking? Is it opening back up? You decide. There you go. Does MTV have shitty technique? Possibly. But there are some people that flat out can't shave with an aggressive razor for whatever reason. I will admit there are some razors I just can't get along with. Um, you haven't seen me use it but twice and I don't get along with it. I need to use it a few more times to decide if I want to keep it, give it away, or sell it. And that's that A&E Lancer B1. Glug, glug, glug. I will tell you, it is always a clean shave after this razor. Like when I use this razor, this is second time. But that first time, it was a really nice close shave. We're going to go again at the neck. Just for some pickups. I don't know if y'all can tell. I don't know if this is an ingrown hair or pimple coming up, but it is a raised up place. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm telling myself I'm not going to mess with it.
I'm not using any pressure with this razor. Very nice. I have to be quiet on the neck there, guys. I know that doesn't make for good. entertainment but it's what we do I still want a good shave guys all right we're gonna rinse up you know the drill be right back final inebriated thoughts all right guys I, I did get some weepers like here 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 everywhere by the time I was done rinsing up we use the alum we're gonna keep it real here on the channel I'm not going to blame it on this razor. I've had two shots, one margarita, and I've cracked open a beer, and an hour and a half has passed. Can't blame the razor, because first time I used it, it didn't have that many weepers. And I don't think it's the blade. But anyways, Teton Shaves, guys. Really love some Teton Shaves. Man, I splattered my phone when I ran my hand across that knot. Wow. All over the mirror. Something else to clean. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're going to use some Havana Splash. And props. I'm proud of Moon Soaps for making an alcohol splash. They put it out there. They asked the people. Majority wanted alcohol in the splash. Thank you, Moon Soaps, for going with what the community wanted. Sorry. I'm just letting you know. Man, I banged up, like, my thumb... At work always happens. Uh, that SOB is just bleeding still a little because it stopped really. Oh, Havana is an awesome set. We're not going to talk about it. I'm sure I've got a Moon Soaps uh, playlist. Go look for Havana in there where I really talk up the soap. Um, splash though, man, that's phenomenal. Now that Moon Soaps has splash, it, it makes everything better. Bomb's nice, but. That's why I have cuticles that, you know, gets hit and bleeds because they're dry. I hate hand lotion. I don't like balms. I don't like lotions. I don't like how they feel. So that's why we have cuticle issues. Um, I prefer splashes. I don't like balms. So very, I mean, that was just a point. Anyways, did, did we finish up, guys? Are we done? Are we done? Did, did I do what I was supposed to do? Did we talk about the soap? Razor, guys. Always wait until there's some freaking sale. Do not pay full price for AliExpress, you know, Yaki, DS Cosmetics, any of that. They've always got to sell at some point. Don't pay full price. That's all I can say. You enjoyed the video today. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that noti bell. And we will catch you next shave.